Red Square, the Kremlin Cup, Moscow. 250 ATP World Tour points are on the line. The country's first pro international tennis tournament is celebrating its 20th anniversary. The event has been dominated by the locals. There have been 13 homegrown champions. Yevgeny Kafelnikov claimed a record five consecutive victories. Moscow will mourn Marat, but can Safin find the final surge? This is the 2009 Kremlin Cup. Home rule has long defined events in Moscow. The last foreigner to triumph here was Taylor Dent in 2003. Little wonder this tournament means so much to the Russians. The Kremlin Cup is uh, one of the biggest events in uh, tennis and uh, sport in, uh, in all Russia. For sure I want to play here, I want to see ev my friends and everyone here and just do everything what I can do in Moscow for the tournament. All eyes were on the retiring Marit Safin, aiming to finish with his first win in Moscow. He was number one. It's already enough, I think, for, for players. He won 15 tournaments. He did what he wanted, I think, in the tennis. Or maybe he can be better, maybe a little bit more years, but yeah, you never know what can happen, and he decided to leave tennis now. The first round saw Safin face Nikolai Davidenko, and the two old friends treated the home crowd to a match to remember. It was difficult, you know, coming from China to Russia and, uh, you know, play against Marat Safin, you know, first round, and I really don't have any time to prepare here, and just three sets was a good match, but not good enough, you know, to, to beat Safin. Next up for Safin, Evgeny Korolev. In the last couple of months, we were really good. I played really well. After uh, I recovered from all my, you know, injuries, I was m many times injured. But uh, tomorrow's my singles match. You know, I hope I can do good. I hope I can do well. With Safin retiring from the tour this year, Korolev's victory signaled the changing of the Russian guard. A lot of people say, or there are rumors that I'm the next Safin, but <laughs> I don't know. I mean, this is. Uh, I'm not choosing it, you know, I, I try to do my job. I want to become, you know, a great player. So Safin was out. But how would he console himself after the defeat? So what's the significance of this place? Well, this is uh, Marat's favorite shop. <laughs> Many uh, things he... Uh, he's professional. He knows <laughs> when the new collection is coming out and everything. Mikhail Yuzhny won this year's Kremlin Cup, but Korolev will be back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, the man who turned Novak Djokovic into a champion, Marian Vida. We talk to the rising star of Czech tennis, Thomas Burdick. And we meet the game's great entertainer, Frenchman Henri Leconte. Until then, don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 coverage of the ATP World Tour. See you next time.